Hello and welcome. This is John Gubay, and this is part one of the All About series, All About Motors. Today we're going to look at the simplest type of motor, which is a DC motor. Now, motors operate on the principles discovered by Faraday when he discovered that current running through a wire has a force exerted on it next to a magnet. When current flows through a loop of wire in the presence of a magnetic field, a force is exerted which will allow it to rotate. DC motors operate in that principle. Now a DC motor has several parts. There are the coils which are wound in different orientations through an armature. An armature has stator magnets surrounding it so that when the commutator applies voltage across opposite ends, the current flows through the coil and the armature is exposed to the magnetic field of the stator magnets which cause it to rotate. Then the brushes on the commutator move to a different commutator or to a different coil and continue the motion. These can use brushes which are graphite carbon conductors to make and break contact or they can also use little magnets and Hall effect devices which are called brushless motors. DC motors are polarity sensitive. When you reverse the polarity, you reverse the direction. The simplest types of motors we're all familiar with hobby and toy motors which we've seen for so long. They can be used to create mechanical motion and I'm reversing the polarity now and it will go the other way. And I'll reverse the polarity once again and it will go the other way. So the simplest type of motor that we can create requires just three components, a magnet, a battery, and a piece of wire. The piece of wire makes contact between the negative and the positive terminal of the battery and current flows through it. The current reacts with the magnetic field and causes mechanical motion. This follows something called the right hand rule. When current flows in the direction of your thumb, a magnetic field is introduced in the direction of my fingers and a force is applied the direction of my palm. 